Greetings, and welcome to part eight of the MetLogic's M3 version three tutorial series. In part eight, we will be discussing the addition of polar mode designation for the step and repeat feature. With the added support for polar mode step and repeat, applications can be programmed whereby an array of multiple feature or features can be group selected and can be repeated in an array pattern. We will move to an application example to demonstrate this new capability. We will first take a look at the addition of the ability to execute step and repeat in interactive mode. In the program settings screen, you will see a new item called always allow step and repeat. Set this item to extra to display the step and repeat button in the extra menu during interactive program authoring. We will now begin an example of polar mode step and repeat. I will probe a quick anchor feature at the center of my part and set its XY position to zero. This feature will serve as the anchor position for the polar array that we will specify. I will now perform a couple of quick measurements that we can then group select to step and repeat. Once I have the features that I would like to duplicate, I can go ahead and group select those features in the feature list. To call the polar step and repeat dialog in interactive mode, simply select one of the step and repeat buttons from the extra menu. You can see here the standard Cartesian step and repeat is available, as well as the new polar step and repeat, which we will look at now. Once pressed, the polar step and repeat dialog is displayed. The operator can set the number of steps in the array, the angle between the steps, including direction. For this case, we'll use a negative number to step in the clockwise position direction. The X anchor and Y anchor designate the coordinate position whereby the array will be anchored around. In our example, we'll use 0, 0 as I have datumed on the hub of this array. Press done to complete the step and repeat. As you can see, my features have been duplicated in an array pattern according to the data entered. Thank you.